looks like uh, motor plug-ins long term. Not a good idea for vinyl plank flooring. Look at that. It's uh, peeling from the plug-in. It's pulling some kind of finish right off. It's not good. Looks great, right? No problem. Well, not exactly. <laughs> kind of situation caused by uh, the smelly plugins. Gonna be fixing it up today. So, keep going. And uh, I'm gonna trim these down to fit. What I have is some surgical scissors. Kind of very strong scissors, so. Not sure if they've been used for something before. Gonna just keep it at the back of the scissors. That way it doesn't break through. Okay, and that looks pretty good. That'll be our piece and I can get some underneath the deal for our second piece. That piece is not going to be big enough, so we're going to go with this one here. I'm trying to match my pattern kind of towards the end as much as I can. Won't be exact, but okay. and the same thing. I'm going to cut it slightly bigger so that the other end can extend a little bit under the deal. Again, just keeping it at the back of the scissors because if I cut all the way through and I have a tendency to chip it out in a different way. I can put the other end in under, that way if my cut wasn't perfectly straight, it really won't matter. And the same with this one. So, now it's just going to be a matter of picking up the old one and inserting the new one. This uh, peeled off and I think if I peel it off it's just going to take the finish off kind of a photo finish, so I'm going to get under here with a, a putty knife here, and I might have needed a better knife to get in there, I might have to just use my leather one, Let's see. I want to be careful to not damage the next one, I've got my knife here, Going to use the other knife as a block and just get underneath here, get it picked up. And it's in there pretty good. Ow. Whoop. Yep, in there real good. Still sticky. I probably might not even need any more adhesive, I can probably just use what I've got there. It's very, very strong. Now this gives me enough room to really get under there. Get it up. a little leverage of a knife. There we go. Okay. And as we'll get the one next to it out while we're here.
separate right there. Can't all be easy, right? Just take it to here, cut it, and be done with it. Doesn't really need to be quite so long. As long as I take it back to a, a decent place. And then I can just cut it in with that. Gives options. We'll just offset this one to about right here. Just got to make sure not to go too far. Okay, now we can pick that out and then I can just cut it to fit. Probably working at a little bit better angle, I think. Yay. Okay. And then I got one little piece left to take out. Here's our new piece. We can dry fit this one. Make sure that fits in nice and good. Hup. I got myself just a little flesh moon. You can still fix that. No problem. Okay, and then this one, just gonna cut my end to fit right here. that around and use that in instead. Ooh, both ends are a little off. So I need a retrim here. Okay. Maybe get a nice straight cut instead. too far, I just need to pick it up and pull it back a little first. There we go. Pull it on back. 
There we go. There we go. All in, same with the other one. We're good to go. No more deal. Let's use the back end of my screwdriver to kind of blunt that in a little bit. And we're all set there. There we go. Thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. Over now. A little bit of time that'll blend in even a little bit better. But leave just like anything else. We're all set. Save a few pieces just in case of anything else in the future. That little tiny cut is no big deal. Just kind of yeah, warning to be a little more careful in the future. Learn from the mistakes. Scars become legends. All right. Thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. Over now.